Welcome to this Tutor to You Sociology topic video on beliefs in society, focusing on religion as a force for change. One of the key debates in beliefs in society is the extent to which religion maintains a status quo, that is, acts as a conservative force or enables social changes to occur in society. We'll look at religion as a conservative force in a separate video, but in this video we're focusing on the ability of religion to enable social changes. Most structural theories, both consensus and conflict, do largely argue that religion acts as a conservative force. However, some Marxists and feminists argue that religion can give us a vision of what society could be and can be used to push for social changes. While Marx's own arguments would argue religion reinforces inequality in society, others saw an additional role for religion, that religion had a dual character and performed more than one set of functions. One of the first to suggest this was Friedrich Engels, Marx's own long-time collaborator, who late in his life suggested that the birth of Christianity was revolutionary, both politically and religiously, and as such, religion can help overthrow the oppression of the ruling classes. Bloch also argued that religion had the ability to offer hope to individuals, and that through religious teachings it was possible to imagine a better future. Religion offered a vision of heaven on earth for some, a utopian version of society, although critics would suggest that religion is limited in its actions towards this goal. Majura also argued that religion could be a force for change, citing the involvement of liberation theology in conflicts in South America in the 1960s and 70s, with the church actively playing a role in challenging fascist ideologies and organising individuals in their resistance. Feminist arguments too are largely on the side of religion as a conservative force, although there are exceptions. Whilst many saw religion as largely patriarchal in its organisation, others suggested that through spirituality, a new version of society could be both imagined and realised. Mary Daly explained the role of goddess religions and how they rejected the patriarchal control of women. And this was also developed by Woodhead, who argued that spirituality can help the creation of the divine feminine and examined the role of alternative forms of spirituality that can develop confidence and self-esteem in women, being based on more egalitarian principles, allowing individuals to develop their own understanding of the world without the dogmatic doctrine of traditional religion. Perhaps one of the most convincing arguments for religion as a force for social change comes from Weber. His analysis of the development of capitalism in line with the growth of the Calvinist movement in Europe demonstrates the power of religion to act as a force for change. He explained how reactions to the accumulation of wealth as being blessed and, the, and that wealth as being chosen helped to generate a Protestant work ethic and this aided the spread of capitalism. It celebrated hard work and being financially astute, both of which were seen as virtues, and this in turn underpinned the growth of industrial capitalism. There are many examples of how religion has acted as a force for so social change, notably liberation theology in South America and the civil rights movement in the USA. The latter was led by Martin Luther King Jr., a pastor in a Baptist church whose own beliefs in equality aided the movement. The civil rights movement used religious institutions as a safe space to congregate, where dissenting voices against segregation and the institutional overt racism faced by the black community were allowed to be heard. The church also offered moral guidance on how to deal with oppression, encouraging those to retain their morality in the face of immorality. Churches organised campaigns and peaceful protests that forced inequalities and systemic racism faced by communities into the public eye, which gradually led to changes during that time. In evaluating the argument that religion is a force for social change, it has to be acknowledged that many Marxists and feminists see religion's primary function as being oppressive and controlling. Ideas of hope, such as those put forward by Bloch, had already been addressed by Marx as a distraction, an opium for the masses. Religion gives people hope, but only until they return to alienation and exploitation of everyday life. Critics of Weber argue that capitalism spread as a result of technology in the age of empires rather than religious beliefs, arguing that those nations that profited most were those with the largest empires, and that economic success was not built upon hard work and praise, but on colonialism and slavery. And finally, in an increasingly secular society, 
it can be argued that the scope and scale of social changes that religion can achieve is somewhat diminished. While it can offer hope and change on a personal level, society has become too secular for widespread changes through religion. Although this may be true of Western society, on a global scale, that may be debated further. That concludes this Tutor to You Sociology topic video on beliefs in society, focusing on religion as a force for social change. Thanks for watching.